Hey, it's Eric, owner of the Rusty Rabbit. And we're going to talk about stage three today. We've covered fuel, we've covered air, now we're going to cover ignition, spark, fire, whatever you want to call it, it all means one thing. It means the ignition of your fuel and air mixture at the proper time, timing, causing your car to run properly or, if it's not right, improperly. Let's talk about the components first. There are three components in the Volkswagen. Some cars only have two. You're either going to have a coil, a distributor with points, or you're going to have a coil, a distributor with what's called a hull unit, a hull effect unit, and an ignition control module. Most of the time, I tend to shy away from electronics. I work on fancy new automobiles all the time during the day, and I've come to find that a lot of computer stuff can help. A lot of computer stuff is needlessly complex. But in this case, I have to say, the Hall Effect ignition system installed on 1980 and later Volkswagen Rabbits far superior to any of the earlier points and condenser type ignition systems found on the 1975 to 79 models. Uh, some 80 models I think are also equipped with points. Why is that? Well, points have to be adjusted every 15,000 miles. They have to be cleaned and adjusted. Points that are in adjustment that have been sitting for 10 years are liable not to fire properly or fire all the time. Points are, in other words, problematic and time-consuming to take care of. And in, in, in retrospect, if you look at points, they, were, they, they worked great when they had no other alternative. Once the Hall Effect system came into play, however, you came up with a, a system that needed no maintenance, had vastly superior timing capabilities, and works pretty well flawlessly in the Volkswagen product. You're liable not to run into issues with your timing Hall Effect system, and your ignition computer on a, on a Volkswagen. Uh, whereas the points, you definitely have to look into. I can't show you exactly how to adjust the points car uh, distributor because I don't have one off the car here. As a matter of fact, both my cars have been upgraded to electronic ignition systems. So we'll skip over that part. And I, I, if you do have a problem, you can call me. I'll try to take you step through it. But it's something really you need to see in order to do. Anyway, what are the parts and what do they do? Well, let's talk about the coil. Coil takes a 12 volt voltage, stores it, builds it up into a highest voltage, low amperage but extremely high voltage charge, and waits for a signal to drop that sucker. And thereby sending that high voltage through the coil wire, through the distributor, and off to one of the spark plugs. Now that sounds very complex, and it, and it is, but it works flawlessly. Coils do, however, break down with time. Sometimes a coil will run perfectly when cold, but once it warms up, it won't. It'll die outright, or it'll have a miss. So if you're having a car that runs fine when it's cold, and you've checked everything else, and you get it to where it's hot, and it either intermittently stalls or it dies, and after about 15 minutes it'll restart again and run for a while, you may want to look into your coil. 15, 20 years ago, uh, you know, these things weren't coming up as a problem, but now with 30 years on some of these coils, that's a lot of spark. That's a lot of... 7,000 RPM, that's a lot of times it's hit the ground. So, that's, a, that's, that's something you might want to look into. Another thing you people overlook are, are your distributor cap, rotor, and wires. You know, uh, a distributor cap made by a company other than Bosch is made by a company other than Bosch. Uh, I'm usually a cheap ass when it comes to almost everything, but when it comes to an ignition system, buy genuine Bosch parts. A Bosch rotor button and a Bosch distributor cap is designed to operate with a Bosch fuel and ignition system car. And I'll tell you what, they do a ten time better job. If you've got a car that won't run when it's wet outside, the chances are it has a made in Crapico distributor cap or rotor button. Bosch parts are usually uh, orange, and I'll tell you what, they last a long time. But pop the cap off your distributor and take a look at your rotor button. If you see any kind of cracking or drying in the, in the Bakelite, the black portion of that, you want to replace that. Same with your wires. You can buy Autolite wires, or you can buy Craco wires, or whatever brand you want. But the fact is, the money you're saving is headaches down the road. A good set of Bosch OEM cables with a metal ends on it will not only make your radio sound better, but it will help your car run better. They're noise reduction. They're, they're, they're much better quality wires, and they're last 80 to 90,000 miles on a car, sometimes longer. Whereas your Autolite or your Crapomatic or whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, they're not OEM fit. Their cables run on a long line and they're cut and they're, you know, they're, they're junk, okay? 
Those are things you want to take care of right off the bat. Spark plugs, let's talk about spark plugs. Again, in most instances, I recommend Bosch plugs. And notice I said Bosch plugs and not Bosch platinum plugs. Platinum plugs are designed for newer automobiles and in different kinds of condition than a Volkswagen produces. Autolite platinum, Bosch platinum, Crapomatic platinum, it doesn't matter. Platinum plug or a split fire plug or a, you know, a, any of these fancy plugs you come across, the only thing they're doing is sucking money out of your wallet and causing problems farther down the line. Use the WR7DC spark plug designed for your Volkswagen from Bosch and you'll be happy with them. If you've got new plugs, you've got a good cap and rotor, you have a good set of wires, and you have a coil that puts out spark, well, you should have fire. If you don't, you have points, you'll have to look into your point system. If you have a Hall Effect unit and you're not getting spark out of it, I would check that coil. If you can verify your coil is good by putting it on another car and seeing if it'll operate, then it's possible that your ignition control module has gone bad, but highly unlikely. Modules retail for about $70 and are available at parts stores around. As they were used on other cars, they're still available. The hull unit itself is not something you replace individually. I believe you have to buy a replacement distributor, which can be kind of expensive. I've never had to do one in all the years of messing with Volkswagens, and I've never had to replace an uh, ignition control unit on any of the Volkswagens I've messed with. So it would be unusual. So let's say you've got your spark, you've got your coils coming through good, your wires are good, your plug's good, and your car runs, but it doesn't run well. Are you sure that your car is in time? You'll need a timing light to check timing. But if you don't have a timing light and you're curious about it, you'll need that Allen wrench to adjust your fuel distributor and you'll need your 13 millimeter wrench to adjust your distributor. What you want to do is go out to your car, start it if it will, and run it. If it's running poorly, loosen up the 13 millimeter bolt to your distributor and turn it slightly in one direction or the other and see if your RPMs increase or if the drivability problems tends to go away. When you get your car sounding like it's running its best, tighten the distributor back down and now take your Allen wrench and adjust your fuel mixture control on your CIS unit. Again, you want to turn a little bit this way, a little bit that way until you come up with the best sounding engine you've got. Doing this causes the engine to run at peak performance and keep you going for a long time to come. What other kinds of problems can you have with a fuel system and an ignition system on a Bosch ignition system? But your car timing could be off. Maybe you replaced the timing belt not too long ago and things haven't been just right yet. You have spark knock or something's just off. Double check. Take the time to pull those covers back off. Maybe you bought the car and it's been acting this way ever since. A lot of guys at gas stations or shops are in a hurry. You know, They get paid uh, to get the job done and get the next one in. It's possible they could have left something a tooth off. In the Volkswagen you have three uh, uh, gears. You have your crank gear, you have your timing gear and you have your cam gear and all three of those must be set perfectly. If any one of those is off a tooth, drivability problems will ensue. So anyway, that's it. There's not much more I can get into. Like I said, if you need help with points and ignition system, feel free to contact me at emort007 at therustyrabbit.com and I'll be glad to help you through it. But if you can, I would recommend going to a junkyard finding a later model Volkswagen, anything up to 85 I believe will work, getting the ignition control module, the wiring harness, and the distributor, and adapting it to your car. It's a piece of cake. I can't tell you how easy it goes in. And, you, and then you'll, you'll be done with the problem. You'll never have to adjust them again. So take it from me, Eric, owner of the Rusty Rabbit. With these three things, you should be on the road. Your car should run great. Your car should run strong. Your car should smell good. And that's the way it goes. In our last segment, we're going to get into emission control systems. Emission control systems, we're not going to get too in-depth with, but there are one or two on the car that can cause drivability problems if they're not operating properly. So, if you've still got issues and you're pretty sure you've double and triple checked everything else, come back and visit me for part four of the series, the biggest part of the series, the emissions control system, and we'll take care of those loose ends. There'll also be a supplement where I tie up anything I might have forgotten over the uh, months, but... That's it. Take it from me, Eric, owner of the Rusty Rabbit. You're well on your way to taking a cruise this weekend in your trusty rabbit.